Hey there, I'm PJ with Mobile Solar, and today I'm gonna to walk you through a small project we just completed installing a Orion DC to DC charger on this Subaru and that small travel trailer behind me. Normally we do an install like this on a pretty large pickup truck and an even larger trailer, but there's no reason you can't do it on something like this. And a small trailer like that isn't gonna be able to have a ton of solar panels. Um, and when they're traveling light, you may not wanna tug around a generator with you. So being able to charge off the car itself is kind of a cool thing. So we'll start here at the front and kind of work our way back to show you what we did. Um, overall, it's pretty simple. We just need to um, connect our wiring to the battery here. That's where the, the actual source of power is gonna come from. Um, as you can see here, we've got an Aegis breaker. Um, this is our line going back across the engine and then down underneath. The wires that we were looking at back in the engine bay actually come all the way underneath the car and they're gonna terminate right here at the bumper at this Anderson plug connector. Um, and you'll see here, connected to the trailer, we have this cord which is going inside to the Orion on the, next to the battery. This is gonna plug right into the connector right there. So when you take off to travel, pop that in and you're rocking and rolling. Hello again, we're in the inside of the camper. I'm gonna walk you through what the cabinet looks like with all the good stuff. Um, so this came to us, this was already set up. Um, there's a soak 280 amp hour battery and then just a, a pretty small 1000 watt go power inverter mounted on the inside wall here. And then, you know, all the various electrical components that you would find in a system like this. Um, we were just installing the Orion, so didn't have to change too much. We did add a negative bus bar to give us a little more room to work with. Um, so we weren't overloading some of the connections on there. Uh, the Orion itself, we mounted to some aluminum one by ones just to get it to kind of stand off from the wall that we we're mounting it to because this thing tends to get pretty hot. Um, we also have a fan that we installed that's built into the wall that the inverter's on um, and it's hooked up to a temperature sensor. So when it reaches a certain temperature, it's automatically going to kick on and hopefully cool down that Orion. So not every project we do, as you can see, is some huge installation on a 45 foot fifth wheel. We do stuff on smaller rigs like this all the time. So if you're looking for just a simple DC to DC charger setup for your rig, big or small, give us a call.